Have you ever wondered how many numbers there are? I mean, sure, we know numbers never end, but have you ever thought about, you know, why? Let's check it out. So let's think about when you started learning how to count. You started with one, then two, and so on and so on. And without realizing it, what you're actually doing is adding one every time to produce a bigger and bigger number. Now we can keep adding one to each number to show that there will always be a bigger number. And that should be fairly intuitive. If you take a very large number, for example, 10,000, now we can add one to 10,000 to produce 10,000 and one. This will not be the biggest number. I can, of course, add one to this number to produce an even larger number. And I can do that for as long as I feel so inclined, which wouldn't be very long. So this proves that there are an infinite number of numbers, but we can take this one step further. If I start at the number one and I add one, I know I'm gonna get two, but let's imagine for a moment that instead of adding one, I added 0 0.5. All of a sudden I have another number in between one and two that is bigger than one by 0 0.5. And if I did that for every single integer on my number line, I would have an additional number in between each integer, 2.5, 3.5, and so on. But what would happen if we took this one step even further? Let's say we look at numbers in between one and 1.5. If I go up by steps of 0 0.01, I would have 1.01, 1.02, and so on. Now at the risk of taking this too far, it goes without saying that I could go one step further and find another number in between 1.01 and 1.02. And so as it turns out, if we consider fractions and decimals, the numbers in between our integers, we have a lot more numbers than we thought. Maybe even an infinite number of numbers? Not only are there an infinite number of numbers in between one and infinity, there are actually an infinite number of numbers in between one and two or one in 1.5, or one in 1.01. Sounds pretty chaotic, right? Well, fortunately, mathematicians have developed an organizational tool to help us categorize all of these numbers. Now, this is where I would introduce the topic of sets, but that's a topic for another day and another math minute.